Avanti International is the leading supplier of chemical grouts for sewer rehabilitation, structural water control, and soil stabilization. Since 1978, Avanti's product line has grown from acrylamide gel and urethane to over 15 chemical grouts. Avanti provides the technical support necessary for applicators to achieve successful results in a safe and efficient manner. Avanti's strategy of supplying the highest quality chemical grouts focuses on the correct application of the products. Application Stopping a Leak in Concrete Water leakages through cracks or joints in concrete is nothing new. When concrete moves, it often cracks. The size of the crack depends on the amount of movement. Pre-polymer urethane resin grouting compounds from Avanti are designed specifically for sealing leaks in concrete. The Variable Pressure Application Technique, or VPAT, is used to apply grout in cracks in order to stop the leak and strengthen the structure. This video demonstrates the VPAT application technique. Step 1. Proper Personal Protection The personal protection equipment required when using chemical grouts is head protection, splash-resistant goggles, Tyvek chemical-resistant coveralls, and chemical-resistant gloves and boot covers. Ventilation is an important aspect of project planning. A respirator equipped with an organic vapor cartridge should always be available and ventilation augmented by blowers or fans when appropriate. Step 2. Clean the surface. A wire brush is used to clean the crack and determine where to drill the first injection hole. Remove as much loose material as possible. Step 3. Drill injection holes. A hammer drill with a 5 8 inch diameter concrete drill bit is to be used. The angle of drilling is approximately 45 degrees to the surface, and the depth of the hole will be one half the thickness of the concrete. Begin at the bottom of the crack and work up by beginning with a drill at 90 degrees, then tilting it to 45 degrees once the hole is started. In this case, the technician drilled about 5 inches into the concrete. Step 4. Set Resin Injectors Place the injector into the drilled hole so that the top of the sleeve is just below the concrete surface. To ensure a snug fit, tighten with a wrench or socket. Be careful not to over-tighten. This could break the injector. Step 5. Flush the crack with water. Using the Graco Ultra 495 pump, flush the crack with water prior to resin injection. This is very important. The water removes drilling dust and debris and improves subsequent penetration of the grout. The flushing also shows the location of additional cracks and indicates where to drill the next injector hole. The subsequent holes should be placed on alternating sides of the main crack and spacing is determined by how far the water travels up the crack. Water left in the concrete pores will help catalyze the grout. Step 6. Repeat steps 3, 4, and 5 until all injectors are set in the concrete and have been flushed. At this point, the pump used for flushing must be rinsed with industrial-grade acetone before introducing the grout product. Avanti's AV208 acetone is recommended. The ideal application is to utilize two pumps, one with water to flush the crack and the other to pump out the grout. This method is faster and reduces the risk of pump damage if the grout comes in contact with any moisture inside the pump. For complete pump operation training, visit www.avantigrout.com. Step 7. Grout Injection When all preparation work is complete, charge the pump with grout. In this demonstration, Avanti's AV310 hydro sealant is being used. To avoid contamination, pour a small amount of grout into a clean 5-gallon pail and introduce the suction tubes. Pull the trigger on the gun and allow all solvent to pass through while watching for the grout to appear. Begin the injection of grout at the lowest injector. As grout begins to flow, the technician should be carefully watching three points of reference. Number 1. The crack, for grout flowing out of the work face. Number two, the pump hose, for pump pulsations indicating resin flow. Number three, the gauge, for actual pressure in the crack. Under proper pumping conditions, the following signs should be observed in this order. Water dissipating from the crack by the resin. Water and resin mix appearing at the crack as foam. Pure resin seeping from the crack. 
stop the pump when pure resin reaches the portion of the crack adjacent to the next injector. Carefully remove the gun and move up to the next injector. Continue in this fashion until the crack is filled. If you are using the two-pump method, once the grouting process is complete, a small amount of water injected back into the crack will accelerate cure time. Step 8. Clean the pump. Pick up the suction tubes from the grout and empty the lines by spraying the remaining grout back into the grout bucket. Next, run fresh acetone through the pump until clear product is discharging from the gun. Next, run pump wash through the pump by turning the flow arrow downward and taking the small hose out of the wash and view the pump wash circulating through the pump. Step 9. Finishing Touches To finish off the repaired crack, simply remove the injectors with a ratchet or wrench. Next, scrape off excess grout with a putty knife and then fill the injector holes with a quick-set concrete product. Finally, trowel the quick-set over the crack to a smooth finish. Thank you for viewing Avanti's grout training video. If you have any further questions, please call Avanti Tech Support at 1-800-877-2570. For training on the proper use of Avanti pump equipment, visit www.avantigrout.com.